Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today's video was brought to us by longtime Patreon supporter Pob Zombie. Huge thanks to Pob Zombie and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Pob Zombie reached out asking for a deck led by Tiny Bones, the Pickpocket, and I was more than happy to help. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and if you like the deck list, consider sharing this video as well. Tiny Bones the Pickpocket is a 1-mana one 1-1 one -one legendary skeleton rogue with Death Touch. Whenever Tiny Bones the Pickpocket deals combat damage to a player, we may cast, target, non-land permanent card from that player's graveyard, and mana of any type can be spent to cast that spell. Okay, so we're a theft deck, except we're stealing from the graveyard, and we need to have mana to cast what we stole. But our commander's also attacking, so we want to be able to attack favorably, so we'll want a small Voltron package. Good thing Pop Zombie told me to go hog wild with the budget. I didn't include any cards that were on the reserve list, but this deck list isn't exactly cheap. Before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard is famous for their boulder, and they now have the new boulder and tray. Designed to carry both your commander deck and enough dice to satisfy anyone but a dice goblin, you can get yours in a variety of colors, like the frosted one seen here. Find out if your local game store carries the Ultimate Guard Boulder and Tray, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. One last announcement before we get into our video. In addition to streaming on Twitch, I will be dual streaming on a new YouTube channel as well. Check out Gaming with Danan if you want to catch me live. Bajuka Bog, Scavenger Grounds, Myriad Landscape, War Room, Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, Cabal Coffers, Rogue's Passage, and 25 Swamps make up our land base. Pretty simple and straightforward. Cryptgast, Dark Ritual, Sword of Feast and Famine, Sword of the Animist, Sword of Hearth and Home, Mana Crypt, Mox Amber, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Charcoal Diamond, Mind Stone, Felwar Stone, Thrawn Dynamo, Solemn Simulacrum, Worn Power Stone, Decanter of Endless Water, Thought Vessel, Crucible of Worlds, Bontu's Monument, and Black Market Connections. I know that's a lot, but we're trying to cast spells from our opponent's graveyard, so it's to be expected. Dark Deal, Unseal the Necropolis, Reanimate, Siphon Mind, Bolus's Citadel, Twilight Prophet, Animate Dead, Phyrexian Arena, Demonic Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, Sign in Blood, Read the Bones, Victimize, and The Immortal Sun help us to dig through our deck and find answers. Feed the Swarm, Plague Crafter, Infernal Grasp, Defile, Soul Shatter, Deadly Rollick, Wrinkles Prank, Baleful Mastery, and Hero's Downfall help us to keep our opponents in line. Toxic Deluge, Damnation, and Force of Despair help us to reset the board as needed. Tiny Bones joins up, The Eye Collector, Mind Rack Harpy, Sir Conrad the Grim, Vicious Rumors, Breach the Multiverse, Dread Summons, Mind Crank, Waste Knot, Geth, Lord of the Vault, 
Tiny Bones Trinket Thief, and Virtue of Persistence make up the core of our deck and how we plan on winning. Our Voltron package consists of Sword of Wealth and Power, Swift Foot Boots, Sword of Body and Mind, Commander's Plate, Fire Shrieker, Mithril Coat, Trailblazer's Boots, Vorpal Sword, and Pact Weapon. Now that we have our deck list, we can compare it to our checklist. 53 mana sources split between 32 lands and 21 pieces of ramp. 15 pieces of card advantage. 9 pieces of interaction. 3 board wipes. 1 piece of graveyard hate in Bajuka Bog. And 1 sudden eye win card in Vorpal Sword. I've actually wanted to use Vorpal Sword as a win condition for a while, but never had the right deck. Not only is it black, it also needs a ton of mana to activate it. Well, this deck just happens to have a ton of ramp, so I felt it was the perfect deck for it. All we need to do is attack an opponent, make sure Tiny Bones isn't blocked, pay 8 mana, and they die. Of course, that makes us the threat, so use this technique wisely. The nice thing about Tiny Bones the pickpocket is he's super cheap. We can cast him on turn 1, and by turn 2 we can start to steal the green player's ramp spells. Chances are they'll be casting Cultivate or 3 Visits for the first few turns, so we can also cast those spells. So for our opening hand, all we really need is a Swamp. Some card advantage and ramp would also be nice, but I think spot removal is more important early game for our deck strategy. Of course, it also depends on what our opponents are playing, which is the fun part about Commander. Even if you play the same deck for years, every game is different. Now, normally I'm a huge advocate for focus decks. Decks that have a singular purpose. But whether we're making a ton of tokens, or smashing people with giant dragons, or casting a chain of spells to kill the entire table, you want your deck to focus around a single idea. This deck does that, but it has three parts to the plan. We want to steal stuff from graveyards, so in order to ensure there are cards in graveyards, we want a bit of mill and a bit of discard. We want to be able to attack favorably, so we want a bit of Voltron. We also need mana to cast those spells, so we needed to go hard on the ramp. We didn't build a Tiny Bones Mill deck or a Tiny Bones Discard deck. We didn't build a Tiny Bones Voltron deck. We also didn't build a Tiny Bones Ramp deck. We built a Tiny Bones The Pickpocket deck, and I think we did pretty well. Are you building a Tiny Bones The Pickpocket deck? What direction are you taking the deck? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor, Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Damon. For only $25, you too can have a commander video built at your request. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Pob, Zombie, Mark, Borgie, Naswin, Pedro, Midge, Alex, Alex, Julio, Valeri, Conga, Ignis, RJ, Aaron, Chris, Robert, and Joel. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Dana.